Hi, I'm Cliff, and this is my garage. And today, I'm going to show you how to convert your old fluorescent T12 and T8 fixtures over to new LED bulbs. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the garage, and if this is your first time joining me, thanks for dropping by. So right now I'm in the middle of replacing all the T8 fixtures in my storage shed here, and I'm replacing them with new T8 LED bulbs. And there's more to it than just swapping out from one type of bulb to the other, and since it would be so hard to get a camera up to where I'm working so that you can see what I'm doing, instead, I decided to take and show you how to do it on this old T12 fixture. Now the difference between a T8 fixture and a T12 fixture, well there's actually a couple of them. One is the bulb. Now let me just pull one of these out. This is a T12 fixture and oh, it's a little hard to get out. This is a T12 bulb. Now compare it, this is a T8 bulb and as you can see the T8 is considerably smaller in diameter. Other than that though, they're really the same. If you look here at the end, the spacing between the pins and the size of the pins is exactly the same between a T8 and a T12. A T12? And if you look here on the end, these are called the tombstones. Now you can see it's kind of tombstone shaped. But the tombstones between a T8 and a T12 are the same. So when you're switching from a T12 to a T8 uh, LED, you don't need to change the tombstones down here. Now the other difference between a T8 and a T12 fixture is the ballast. And what I've said here could be confusing. I'm not saying that one has a ballast and the other doesn't. What I mean is that each has its own unique ballast. And I've got one here, yeah. This is an old ballast. And the purpose of a ballast is to control the current flow in the light. However, the new LEDs don't need a ballast. They're basically like a regular light bulb. And so one of the steps we need to do is get rid of the ballast out of the fixture. Not only is it not necessary, you have to take it out. You can't just plug the new lights in to the existing tombstones and have it work. Now there, there are some LED bulbs that will work with the ballast, but they're not compatible with all ballasts, and leaving the ballast in gives you an unnecessary point of failure. I really feel it's best to just get rid of the thing. All right, so our first step, and I've already removed the first bulb, but we need to remove the old bulbs. You rotate them so the pins line up vertically, and then wiggle them out. There we go. That one came out a whole lot easier than the first one did. Okay, then we have this metal shield here that we have to remove. Should just be a couple of screws. And this metal shield comes off. And we can see the ballast right there. So we need to uh, take that loose. couple of screws and we've broken it loose. And so let's look here at the way this is set up. Our incoming power here is going to a black and a white wire on the ballast, going into the ballast. This is your uh, this is your hot wire and your neutral wire. The ground wire is going and it's it is uh, tied here right into the shell of the light, the way it's supposed to be. Now if you look at this, <clears throat> the ballast powers coming in and then it comes out in two directions. One set of wires goes to this set of tombstones <clears throat> and the other set of wires come down to this set of tombstones. It doesn't matter which wire we hook to these tombstones and which one we hook to these tombstones, but we have to hook 
one wire to both of these tombstones. All the wires on this end have to go to one, either the ground, no, not the ground. They either have to go to the neutral wire or the hot wire. Likewise, these tombstones, these wires, need to be hooked to one or the other. You can't have half the wires hooked to one and half the wires hooked to the other. So let's start cutting this loose. So let's start off by cutting this wire tie, helping to hold everything together. And I think we'll leave that one for now. And we can see here where this black wire is tied to one of the two incoming power lines. Again, it doesn't matter which one it really is. There's the black wire cut loose. Here's the white. Okay, so this one has me a little bit puzzled because I've never seen a ballast quite wired this way where the neutral wire is going down to one set of the tombstones. It, um, it, and then the two lines are going into the ballast. It really doesn't matter as long as we get one, the neutral connected to one end and the hot line connected to the other. So let's just go ahead and cut this out of here. And on the other end, we're going to cut all four of these wires. All right, there are ballasts going. And now all four of these, since the neutral's already running down there, I think we don't even need these blue, this blue and yellow wire, because it looks like this white wire is feeding the tombstones all by itself. So let's just forget about that, unless it's feeding, okay, I think it's actually feeding like one set of contacts, and then the blue and yellow are feeding the other set of contacts. So we'll just tie all this together, and then hook it all to one of the incoming lines. I think I've got enough to play with here. I'll cut all three of these off. That seems solid. Now, bring this around. And we'll wire this together. Okay, got that. Take all these. I have lost or misplaced my good wire stripper. I'm having to make do with this junky little thing here. Oops, I actually pulled the tombstones out. Actually, it might be easier if I leave them out and then put them in once I've got it wired together. So I've got one line running to these tombstones, one to the other set of tombstones. And let's see Okay, I'm going to plug this in, and hopefully we don't see sparks fly. Okay, good. No sparks, no smoke. 
seem okay there. Now, let's try putting the LED bulbs in. I'm not gonna get it all buttoned up. I wanna test this first. Just take and put one in. Since these act as independent circuits, you don't have to do both of them. Let's just see what happens. Hey, there we go. Just in case, test the other set of tombstones. Now these LED bulbs have a definite top and bottom, so make sure you don't turn them around backwards. And works good. So let's put this all back together now. One last look, make sure I didn't leave any exposed wiring. Everything's still hooked up. The ground is still attached. Okay, we look good. And let's try it again. Uh-oh, now why do we, oh, there we go. I just didn't have it seated properly. Okay, success. Okay, that's all there is to it. Quick, easy job without all the fumbling around and the surprise of the differently wired ballast. I would have had this done in two or three minutes. It's really that simple. Uh, if you do open up your light and you find the ballast looks different or the wiring is different, just keep in mind one simple fact. You have two lines coming in for power. You've got your hot line and you've got your neutral. One wire has to go to one end. The other wire has to go to the other. All these tombstones are going to be either neutral or the hot line and the others will be the other one. And as long as you've got that, all these LED bulbs need is power and neutral, or power and neutral. As long as you've got that, you should be good to go. Now, let me just throw in a disclaimer here. If you are not comfortable with working with electricity and doing all this wiring, please find someone who is comfortable to help you through it at, or to do it for you. But mainly, ha someone that, a friend of yours that's more comfortable with this stuff, that'll help you walk through it the first time or two, and then you can do the rest yourself. Now, I have four units to convert in the storage shed, but I have another 20 or so over here in the garage, and then um, or over here in the workshop that I still have to convert. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of these. Hey, as always, please go down there, find that thumbs up button, give us a like on the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and us showing up in search results. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. We're, uh, we just broke over 750 and we're on the march to 800. That's going to be exciting when we hit that point. Also, when you subscribe, make sure you go down, find that little bell icon and click on that. That's turning on the notification system. And that way, YouTube will let you know every time that I post new content from here in Cliff's Garage. I'll see you next time.